Lord, he is your savior. I'm telling you, the longer you are with God and the longer you stay with God and the more you give God your life and the more you surrender and the more you trust him, the freer you become. Those who Jesus has set free, they are free indeed. But the freedom is not what you think. It's not freedom to do what you want to do. The freedom comes from knowing that he loves you, knowing that you are never alone, knowing that he keeps his promises, knowing that he never leaves you nor forsakes you, knowing that he does not condemn you, knowing that you wake up every single day, you know, um, you know, with brand new mercies every single day that the sun rises not only do you get brand new mercies but the son of righteousness releases healing in his wings Greetings and God bless you. It is me, Dr. Letitia Webb, and you are experiencing P4, where we use the strategies of pray, paint, pursuing God's word, and processing information from self-development resources so that we can move from pain to experiencing peace and enjoying life's pleasures. We also want to produce a sellable products that bring value to other people. So speaking of that, if you have not purchased one of my journals or coloring books, go on over to Amazon. Put my name, Dr. Letitia Webb, in the search box and you will see I have two coloring books for um, self-care and relaxation. I have some prompt journals, manifesting gratitude, the I Am Journal, You Are Beautiful Journal, and a prayer journal. And then I got some other um, just freestyle journals so that you can just express yourself, okay? So those are my sellable products because I want you to engage in self-care. I want you to have me moments, and I want you to be able to process your thoughts down in your journal. I want you to color so that you can release any stress that's within you. I want I want you to have your I am statements for your affirmations. I want you to know that you are enough and beautiful. I want you to manifest gratitude every single day and I want you to pray. So yep, go on over to Amazon. Check me out. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we love you, we praise you, we worship you, and we honor you. Have your way, Father God. We invite you in on this day. Move by your power, move by your might. In the name of Jesus, amen. So on today, September 23rd, let's take a look at Jesus calling. So it says, walk with me in the freedom of forgiveness. The path we follow together is sometimes steep and slippery. If you carry a burden of guilt on your back, you are more likely to stumble and fall. At your request, I will remove the heavy load from you and bury it at the foot of the cross. When I unburden you, you are undeniably free. Stand up straight and tall in my presence so that no one can place more burdens on your back. Look into my face and feel the warmth of my love light shining upon you. It is this unconditional love that frees you from both fears and sins. Spend time basking in the light of my presence. As you come to know me more and more intimately, you grow increasingly free. I am a testament. Do you have a testimony? Please put your testimony in the comment. The longer you are with God and when you have a true personal relationship with God and it's not based on religion, it's not based on show, but it is based on your relationship where you talk to him every day. He is your Lord. He is your savior. I'm telling you, the longer you are with God, and the longer you stay with God and the more you give God your life and the more you surrender and the more you trust him, the freer you become. Those who Jesus has set free, they are free indeed. But the freedom is not what you think. It's not freedom to do what you want to do. The freedom comes from knowing that he loves you.
knowing that you are never alone, knowing that he keeps his promises, knowing that he never leaves you nor forsakes you, knowing that he does not condemn you, knowing that you wake up every single day, you know, um, you know, with brand new mercies. Every single day that the sun rises, not only do you get brand new mercies, but the son of righteousness releases healing in his wings. So every day you can receive healing. If you were hurt yesterday, if you were hurt in the middle of the night, it's anything. When you wake up in the morning and when that sun rises, even if it's cloudy, the sun still rises. The sun is behind the clouds. Even if it's raining, we call that liquid sunshine. Let me tell you something. You can receive your healing every single day. You can receive brand new mercies every single day. You just have to recognize it. And when you walk with God every single day, you are free. You are even free to forgive. No matter how hard it is. No matter how much they hurt you. Even if they didn't acknowledge it. Even if they didn't say sorry. Even if they have passed on and they are no longer with us. You can forgive. Unforgiveness keeps you bound. Grudges and revenge and vengeance keeps you imprisoned. You want to be free? I know, I know. I'm not even asking you to forget. Can you at least forgive? Can you do that? At least forgive them. Let's just, just, just start with the forgiving part. I'm not saying forgive. I mean, I'm not saying forget. I don't, want to, I don't want you to put yourself out there and put yourself right back. Because I know the worldly saying is, you know, you do me wrong once, shame on you. You do me wrong twice, shame on me. Because you didn't learn the lesson. I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not saying put yourself back in the situation to be hurt. What I'm saying is that I want you to be free. And only forgiveness sets you free and puts you in a place where you can look into God's face and feel the warmth of his love light shining upon you. But when you are maxed and shadowed with unforgiveness and revenge and vengeance and hatred and anger, you're not walking in God's love and his light and you are bound. Do you want your freedom? Put in the chat, put in the comments, I want my freedom, then forgive. Let's go ahead and pursue God's word. So in Psalm 68 verses 19 through 23, and we read in the Message Bible, Blessed be the Lord, day after day he carries us along. He's our savior our God. Oh yes. He's God for us. He's God who saves us. Lord God knows all. Deaths in and out. What's more? He made heads roll, split the skulls of the enemy. As he marched out of heaven saying, I tied up the dragon in knots, put a muzzle on the deep blue sea. You can wade through your enemy's blood and your dog's taste of your enemies from your boots. Your dog's taste of your enemies from your boots. My God. Blessed be the Lord. Yeah, I just want, I just want, I'm going to let the word work. Blessed be the Lord. He's your Lord. He's your Savior. He's your King. He is for you. He saves you. He knows all. 
He knows all. He knows. He knows. He knows. God knows. He knows you're hurting. He knows you're afraid. He knows you're, you, you know, you want to protect yourself. He knows them too. He knows that they may try you. He knows all of that. He knows. He knows that you like, I'm never, ever, ever gonna let it happen again. He knows. But you can't control other people. You can't control what they're going to say, what they're going to do, how they're going to say it. You can't control if they're going to test you. You can't control if they um, open themselves up to the enemy and allow the enemy to influence them and use them. You can't control any of that. All you can do is choose to walk with God in the freedom of forgiveness. All you can do is know that God knows all. And he is your Lord, he is your Savior, and he is the same God who forgave you. And just think about it. You, none of us are perfect. Someone may be holding unforgiveness towards you, and you done moved on with your life. You ain't even thinking or don't even remember what you said or did to someone. But they're bound, and they're holding that against you. Just like we get hurt, we also hurt. So think about that. I know it's a lie, it's a lie. I ain't want it to be heavy today. I ain't think it was gonna be heavy today. But forgiveness is a real thing. Unforgiveness, hurt, anger, revenge, vengeance, though bitterness, that is real, okay? But there's freedom for you if you choose to walk with God. God bless you.